There's a clock on the Hey doll. Uh, so I've just been to see uh, everyone talking about Jamie at the Apollo Theatre in London and I haven't seen it since its original production um, about two years ago and tonight it felt like a completely different show, it felt like a, it, a completely different experience um, and I think that's mainly to do with who's at the helm and that's the divine Leighton Williams, his spirit, charisma uniqueness, nerve and talent drives the show like a like, like a completely different vehicle to have seen it been done before he's um, obviously we all know that he can kick and split and twirl which he does to perfection but he's also an incredible actor I mean the more intense scenes he was incredible at being um, vulnerable and the comic timing of some of the lines that he delivers perfect it was a pleasure to see him, and I'm so glad I did, because I bumped into Leighton very briefly at the Olivier Awards, when he handed out an award, um, and I, I said I'd go, I, I promised him I'd go, and, I, and I'm glad I did, because it was like a completely different show. I want to go and see it again, I want to bring my mum, and everyone to come and see this production, but that doesn't mean I prefer this production to the original, it's just different. It's just a different, it had a different spirit, and I think that spirit was Leighton. I really wanted to see Bianca Del Rio, Roy, uh, in this production, and he was, again, a surprise. Well, not a surprise. We all know we can do drag, of course, because he won, he's fantastic. He has own tours, but he's a fantastic actor. Uh, again, the more emotional scenes, the uh, the, the, the more the more the um, guiding Jamie on his journey. Again, he wasn't done like whack 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 joke 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 it was done with pathos and empathy and i completely thought that roy was incredible we know it's like chanel but obviously in this production there's a bit of artistic license and he does come out with that gorgeous harsh white line and looks like bianca dario of course he does and it's stunning and it's just what the audience want okay i was one of the biggest Steps fans. I used to obsess with Faye's braids. You, I mean, if you're old enough, you remember the braids. And she used to do a makeup tutorial on their like behind the scenes of Steps. And I was, that's what I think why I love makeup for. And then you can just gently brush it all over. Okay. Also, she is snatched. She looks beautiful. She sings with passion and punch. She can dance, of course she could, because Strictly and of course the steps. But it was really lovely to see her in this production. I've, I've seen her in other stuff I saw her in, me and my girl. That was one of the first experiences I ever had at the theatre, was seeing Faye Toza in me and my girl. And that's probably why I got into theatre in the first place. Shout out to Charlotte Ryby. She was in that production as well. And she was like, very important to me. And I saw Faye also in uh, Singing in the Rain. But in this production she was, again, it was, I, I feel like I can't, I feel like I'm gushing, but it was, it just, I had such a fantastic time at the Apollo tonight. Rebecca, who played at Margaret New, which is Jamie's mum, was again wonderful, absolutely glorious. And of course, um, her 11 o'clock number, well I'll say it's 11 o'clock number, uh, he's my boy, was soul smashing and soul shattering. And I was looking around and there was people next to me. I mean, there was uh, two gentlemen from America who I got chatting to. They were in pieces. That song is so well written and so well performed by Rebecca. It was wonderful to watch and it was wonderful to be part of, obviously I've seen the show before, so I knew how intense and how emotionally and how evocative that song is. But to kind of watch it and also watch the audience watch it was really nice as well. So you got um, Loco Chanel's sisters played by Alex and Daniel and James. James was uh, the original Bucking Wicked and I used to go to the stage door red faced with a wicked hoodie on and he used to start a programme, I used to live the dream. Um, and I thought they were fantastic playing their characters. Um, and it's, it would be so easy to showboat and get bigger and get louder and almost make it into Pants of mine, which it could be done, or very ostentatious, but when they play it, they play it like the truth. And also, they're, they're hilarious. They are so good. They, I don't, 
I don't think I should ever leave the production. And it was so earthy and so true, and the way they're in the corsets with the tights pulled up and the turbans on, and smoking, and the um, showing just drag queens. So we turned to the show, I obviously could enjoy more of it because I could focus on different parts. And what I didn't realise is how wonderful the choreographer is. The choreography is insane. It looks so simple, but it's not. It's so effective. I love all the voguing, I love all the contemporary dance, and I don't like contemporary dance myself because I wasn't any good at it. But watching it was incredible. I really enjoyed it. And the cast, the ensemble, the ensemble players, the ensemble cast are great. And they look like people that I know. They look like people that I know from school. Like the bully who played, was played by Luke. I know someone exactly like that and he speaks like that and he used to walk like that. So I think he's got that down to a T. Sabrina who plays Pretty in this production was so funny. We had Melissa on as Ray tonight and she was so full of presence and strength and she was so funny and really worked well I found with um, Rebecca who played Jamie's mom and also with Layton who played Jamie. I loved her voice. Her voice was a powerhouse voice. She was whacking those notes out on limited edition prom night special. Um, the show is still fresh. It's still exciting. It's I just I just want people to go and see it and enjoy it. And it's, it has such a lovely message. And even though I was on my own, I was up at the end clapping and living the dream and enjoying myself and living my best life. Even one of my favourite um, moments and relationships in the show is obviously between Jamie and his mum. Obviously, being a gay man myself and having a mum, surprise, um, I completely related that to that. And when I first saw it, it was just so emotional and so, and so well written and so well thought out. I mean, I don't do anything professional, but I like to, to do drag. Um, and the conversation that Jamie has with Pretty about, so do you want to be a woman? Do you, all those. My mum looked at me as if to go, you've had this conversation. I think it's such a relevant musical. I think it's so important to gener this generation and to promote self-love and to promote be who you want to be. And it's such a lovely score. It's directed brilliantly and long may it rain on the West End. One of the lasting memories that I'll take from Jamie always is when the entire cast sing there's a place where you belong and luckily people who go and see that show who don't have the support system like I have um, can feel that and feel that there is a place where they belong. Strut Don't Walk to the Apollo Theatre to see everyone talk about Jamie, starring Leighton Williams, Faye Toza, Bianca Zobio, and the absolutely joyous cast of Everybody's Talking About Jamie. And you don't even know it.